some of our landings were desperate adventures. We are now prepared to meet the inevitable counterattacks with power and with confidence. Hello and welcome to Bonfire Side Chat Rewind. This is Cole here doing something very exciting, starting up Demon Souls. Um, it's been a while since I played this, and I'm hot off the heels of having streamed all of Kingsfield 4, picking up with the first proper Souls game here. Hey there, William. Hi there, Emily. Hi there, Jack. We're going to have to wait for it to try and connect to a server that is no longer there. But we're going to hear some chill music while it happens, so. I'm positive there's some way I can spoof a DNS and connect to, like, a uh, an unofficial server. Uh, but I'm not smart enough to do that. So, in the future, I will start past this line. Uh, let's see here. Name. Let's do... Grum. Let's see. Mail's fine. Class. Um, so what you're going to learn is that I'm bad at these games. So I'm going to give myself a little bit of a leg up. Start in, start in easy mode. I tend to prefer old. Oh, very progressive, having a gender slider. Hairstyle, what is funniest? I'm always fond of the of the Mo. The Mo Howard. And let's do Cool. There we go, Grumble Storch, the male the male royal. Hey there, Zach. Hey there, Andrew. Hey there, Connor. Hi, the icon. King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world. God, I and love this music. Who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax, the Grumble the Storch, please. Broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless boom, fog boom, boom, had boom, swept boom. in. Unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. <laughs> the mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Chaos reigns. Valorfax so good. The enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon's soul is beyond human imagination. Or equivalent of like maybe three or four level ups, maybe. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. <clears throat> the backstabber. Sage Urbane. Kind of a solid bro. Skurber the Wanderer. I, if I remember correctly, the a solid bro. Saint Astraya and her knight Garo Vinland. Tragic figure. And Sage Frake the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. 
The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. <laughs> but Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? I forgot how prominent the bonfire was in that. Of course, I'm bringing the death counter back. Here, we have just walked into the colorless fog. Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. Hello, I'm Grumble Scorch. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber. Thank you, Maiden in Black. Here we go. Hey, RDC. Hey, Auto Twilo. Too many new people. Too many new people in here. So, this is going to look familiar to anybody who has uh, played a Souls game. You know. R1 spam works just fine, just fine. Oh, and I get turned around just like I always do in any game. Some things never change. Easy enough. Ah, oh, zero deaths. It'll be one soon enough. I've never, eh, it's, I've never successfully managed to beat the Vanguard Demon. Hello there, Michael. Hey, coal mine canary. Again, if I don't say hello to you, it's not because I don't like you. It's just it's just because there's there's lots of folks. All right, I think they're gonna start throwing some ranged ranged boys at me. Gosh, this is, um... Whew, it's weird going back to a game that plays, like, at a normal speed after uh, Kingsfield. I'm still in the process of editing those, and, uh... I'm kind of, like, think I'm still, I'm still thinking in Kingsfield speed. Hey... Michael says, "I've been meaning to hang out for uh, hang out on a stream for a while. Long time duck feed lurker, the duck lurker. Yes. <laughs> oh, cool, Arkstone. Good. I do miss the uh, like the little um, glamour shot loading screens, just of these of these figures that you're gonna meet. Oh, this is a long tutorial." Let me see here. Change my equipment. Let's do... Oh, there we are. Yeah. I can do casts as well. Um, for anybody who hasn't played this, you may be um, weirded out to find out that there's a mana system. That blue bar. Oh. <laughs> Fuck. No, I press square. Your attacks are on the shoulder button, Cole. Muscle memory is a hell of a thing. Ooh, cool, blue-eyed knight. Let's see how I do against this guy. <laughs> there we go. 
good and fun. Yeah, nothing here drops any souls. Another blue-eyed knight. No! Hmm. Yeah, no good with his, uh, shield up. Almost had it. Come on. I could just run past you, but I've used too many resources. Built milk. Let's see. I was always confused by what this cauldron was. Is this like, are they boiling oil to drop on people? Oh, hey, buddy. Look at that. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Oh, fog wall. Wow, this is such a long tutorial. <laughs> I've not been able to land a backstab. It's 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 harder to land backstabs in Demon Souls than it is in Dark Souls. All right, here we go, first boss. Let's get ready to add the first death onto the tally. Hello there, Ilya. Hi, Twilo. I think I already said hello to you, Twilo. Hello again, Twilo. There we go, Vanguard Demon. Soften him up with some gas. Oh, fuck! Hey, yep, no, he got me. One hit. Serious business. to the Nexus. Drawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. Hello, I'm Grumble Storch. the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect it. You have died and the Nexus has trapped your soul. You cannot escape the Nexus. God, that's such a discouraging opening message. Hey there, Ben. However, by capturing demon souls, you can reclaim your physical body. So I got the next skill bonding. That means if I die, I come back here. Yo, buddy. Well, you slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the art stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed voluntaria. You came for demon souls? Or to... Uh, it's all the same. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. 
so yeah, down here is the rest of the, the rest of the tutorial. It's just a little pit with all of these soapstone messages carved out. Oh man. Let's go talk to our buddies. I'm Stockpile Thomas. When the scourge came, I didn't know what hit me. When I came to, I found myself here, in the Nexus. My wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Stockpile's a good guy. Uh, Michael asks, is this the first appearance of a Crestfallen, or does that character show up in any Kingsfield games? Uh, there is a Crestfallen-esque character in Kingsfield 4. That is the only Kingsfield game that I've played. Uh, he's the first NPC that you meet. He's like the last survivor of a failed expedition. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. Oh, <laughs> and Ilya reminds me. Uh, that little area down there is called the Pro Tip Pit. Hmm. You new here? You here for my services? My name's Baldwin. Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? I can't argue with that. Perhaps you've already heard, but there's another blacksmith at the entrance of Stonefang Mine. He's an eccentric old man, but he knows his trade well. He's the only sane one left in a town of soul starved me. If you do meet him... Yeah, well, forget it. That stomach will near the well will just ignore you. Good stuff. No interest, eh? I have nothing for him just yet. Let's see here. Let's talk to uh, Urbane, I believe. Oh, my. I oh, know. How is this Not Urbane. Happened? Has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh, Mbasa. Hmm, first Mbasa. Let's see. There's not a whole lot I can do. Like, these merchants don't really open up. Well, A, until you find them, and B, until you finish 1-1. Um, one, one. So, why don't we go play one of the best first levels in any video game? Why don't we? No big deal. Boletarian Palace, a huge stone castle in the heart of the northern kingdom of Boletaria. Hungry soldiers whose souls have been stolen by demons attack trespassers and terrible dragons nest there. Uh, Ethan asks, what kind of build are we doing? Uh, we're doing whatever works. I'm a royal because I'm bad at this game. And here we are in Boletaria. We need to get in there and we're going to have to go through the walls. So, I hope that you're okay with seeing a bunch of dead horses. Ah, uh, you got me. That was... <laughs> oh, and why am 
not using my half moon grass. <laughs> God, it's been for... Oh, and I don't even have the <laughs> I don't even have my sword equipped. <laughs> Fuck me. There we go. I told you I was bad. Uh, Killer Cab asks, when will they re remake Onimusha? Uh, they did an HD re-release of Onimusha earlier this year. It's on PC and Switch and stuff. Oh, yes. There we go. My delicious horse meat. All right, two of them. Here they come. Hey, Mitch. those crows with the grenade, they drop spindles. <laughs> oh, we're going to be going through that gate, guys. Just as soon as we open it. I feel basic for just R1 spamming, but it's what works, damn it. go. Oh, that classic feeling. Love it. Just munching them greens. Can't help it. Gonna do a cheap run. That is the very definition, the very definition of an attractive nuisance. The big glowing pit? Of course, I will live if I fall down there. Half moon grass, good, good. I'm hoping to never have to farm on stream. Oh, hey, forgot about you. Oh, so many, Zach. That pit has killed so many people. <laughs> Emily says, they wouldn't make it glow if there wasn't treasure in it. <laughs> okay. 
Um, can somebody in the chat uh, remind me where the ring that gives you 75% of your health is? I forget. I, I think it's 1-2, but I have no, have no distinct recollection. Yeah, ring of binding. There we go. Oh, you have to complete the loop in 1-1. One, one. Makes sense. how chunkety your role is in this. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. I just, until I level up my health, I don't like, uh, I just, the, the, the half health ma at, in Soul 4 makes me nervous. Okay. Shit. All right, we are inside the wall. Uh, uh yeah, I, I'm going to trade the rapier in for something that has a better combo uh, a little bit later on. Ah, uh, who am I kidding? I'm just going to go get the enchanted falchion. How strange was it at the time to just not have a, not have any kind of like background music for an area. Just let it be the fire and the crows. Uh, no, I've not done any kind of dupe glitch in the in this game, uh, Ethan. Also, hello, Ethan. Um, in my opinion, I've never, I've never had any good luck with, uh, with the mail breaker. And it's not good to stop and scratch your nose when there are firebombs about. <laughs> Michael says Bulletaria has 80% of Earth gravity due to the floatiness of the uh, fall animation. Um, I'll be able to get up there a little bit later. I've got to drop down on top of that, I think. Yeah, the Soul Arrow cast is pretty quick, um, especially compared to something like Dark Souls 2, where they pin um, casting speed to attunement. Nice try. Yeah, there's Boulder up there. No multi-phase bosses this early. answer Mitch's question. Multi-phase bosses didn't start um, until much later. Oh. 
Mitch knows this. And we're up on the wall. Down there is where we started. Um, I don't want to go too far this way because I'm going to run into the Red Eye Knight and I don't want to piss him off just yet. Oh, right, the Spear Bearers. Yeah, these guys will fuck you up. Oh, <laughs> yay. No, 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 no! No! Oh, man. Exactly the kind of bullshit you tune in for. Yeah, I don't think they OSHA in, uh, in Boletaria. Yoink! You regained Lost Soul. Hey, hey, I'm walking here. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. And down I go. All right, now I know when to stop trying to run past stuff when the, uh, when the fire bombs get into play. Okay, blue eye knight. Total chaos. Just total chaos. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I just want to unlock the shortcut, you guys. Okay. At the very least, it seems like I've got my feet under me here. I'm not carrying a whole train of baddies behind me. I do need to deal with this guy, but I'm not going to mess with the, uh, with the spear dudes if I can help it. Oh yeah, I love the amount of jank in this game. It is not souls without the jank, Mo, the jank. <laughs> God, I love the sound that guy makes. There we go. All right, let's go down here. Let's reclaim our precious, precious body juice.
cool. They gave me the firebombs. Let this guy... There you go. You dingus. You absolute simpleton. I would prefer not to use my fire bombs. Fuck. Wow. Well, I am really chugging through these healing items. My precious Cindy Janes. There we go. Desperately in need of grass. Wink, wink. I am not going to die right at the finish line. There we go. <sighs> Resplendent. There we go. Cool, 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 cool. Old ragged robes, old spice, jade hair ornament. All good. All good stuff. I need to equip another weapon because that back step on the rapier is just really throwing me off. It's the... Yeah, cling ring. All right. Let's proceed to the undead merchant. I don't have a way to uh, cash in my souls just yet until I beat Phalanx. here in the gallows. All right, you have to use fire to set somebody on fire. There we go. Yeah, it really is a lot to get used to that this game is so fast.
bloody crows. Hey there, buddy. Day to you. Care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you? Let's see what you have to say, Dragwing. Be a brave knight or depraved slave. The demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria, as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> There's this skinny fella, clad in fabulous armor, who's always mumbling about some mission. He's another one who's managed to stay sane like yourself. Probably some pampered son by the looks of his attire. Talking I'd about Ostrava. Just for the buttons off his shirt. It is the end of Great Bullet, but hell, at least. Let's see, what can we get? Oh, wow. That grass is very expensive. Uh... Yeah, the, the economy in this game is really unforgiving, actually. <laughs> yeah, you got to go save Ostrava. Go ahead, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. No, I'm... I'm... I'm I deprived you of his Hello. laugh. Hello, what can I do for He's you? He's another one who's probably... I... Go ahead, take your time. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, so good. God. I love this dumb weird game. Let's see. I don't want to stram myself down there. Hey, buddy. What you doing? I love how stuff just the trajectory curves in the air to track you. You notice it really bad with uh, mostly with this. Watch how that arrow curves. <laughs> right, I'm good. Before I mess around down there, I need to go take care of these guys. to shoot at me. I'm torn on how much, like, lore explanation I should do as I'm doing this. Um, because I don't know if that is the, the, the role for this. I know there are some people who, they have never played, um, they've never played this game, so they may need context, or may want context, rather. Oh. Need is a weird word for that. Um... Just let me know if I get too long-winded. That's right, hover so I can stab you. Man, so many people are playing Halo on Steam right now. Like my entire friends list. Uh, Mitch asks, any bosses you are dreading this early on? Um, the only boss I really dread is the, uh, the man-eaters. No! 
Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. That was really fucking dumb. Zack says they're playing Demon Souls while they watch the stream. And just got to the Man Eaters and yikes. Yeah, Man Eaters is to give me an inordinate amount of trouble. I know they're not as huge of a wall for lots of folks. Uh, I just think it is very bad. Hot shots. I don't think there's anything for me down here just yet. I think it might be beneficial to get to uh, to get to Falling so I can spend my souls before I go adventuring into like optional stuff. Cause like I need to get to those gallows. Or whatever those are. Those aren't the gallows. You need, you need the soul. You have the world tendency to get to a certain point before you can do that. Alright, so onward. Onward to Phalanx. Those free souls. Clomine Canary says, right here is where they were first invaded. As a human, of course. Alright. I'm not going to mess with those dragons. Freddy Kruegers, each and every one of them. Big moment, here we go. There we are. How do you make the... There we go. That's what we need. Uh-oh.
Okay, I forget what you have to do to not get fried. <laughs> Coal mine canary. Bridge patrol is a little bit indiscriminate. Come on. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh no, I shouldn't have. I should have committed. This is what I should have done. Yeah, Kenzie says you really just gotta cheese it. He's gonna keep on being in that uh in that loop. Okay, here we go. Commit. Commit. All right. Cool. We're in the other tower now. We can go down. All right. Yeah. Here's how you open the main gate. Get a warm welcome. Hi, Daniel Davis. Thwibble. <laughs> All right, uh, so we're gonna see some blobs here soon. I don't want to use my um, I don't want to use my fire bombs on them because that's just so good for the uh, so good for the boss. Surprise! I hate these guys. The kick is really such a necessary kind of component. It's, it's like playing, um... It's like playing Tony Hawk without the manual. Oh yeah, the scraping spear should never have been. I would just wait around and try and do the uh, the old monk fight with uh, with another person, and it would always be somebody uh, firing up with a scraper scraping spear. Uh. 
I've got to open up the shortcut. Although there's no real reason to get back up here. I just don't want to... Yeah, you really don't want to be attacking these things physically. They do, um, they just have tear, they have a, they have a terribly high defense against most physical attacks. Alright, I'm gonna use the archstone and reset my meters, and then we're gonna do our first boss fight. Well, second boss fight first successful boss fight through that fog wall. Let's take the uh, the jade hairpiece back to... That hairpin that belongs to my daughter. Then she didn't make it after all. All right, this crushes the baby. Thomas. May she rest in peace. May I ask you a favor? Would you mind giving up that hairpin? I'd like to have it. In memory of my daughter. Well, I don't know. I could give him closure. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, I mustn't forget. It's not much, but please accept this as thanks. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but... I found it one day, discarded on the main road. But it seems to possess a strange power. Anyway, I feel that you should have it. It will be happier in your hands. I think that increases your, um... Yeah, your item burden. Okay, I do want to equip um, in my fast items. Is that the firebomb? Yes, it is. Okay. I don't need the lo the royal lotus right now. And I don't want to accidentally use my late moon grass. Okay, here we go. 1-1, one, one, phalanx. Attempt 1. So, um, all of the bosses in Boletaria, in World 1, they're actually very strongly mutated versions of um, King Alan's champions. You're going to see them um, much later in 1-4. in their spirit form. You can even see how Phalanx has all of these um, it's mostly just a bunch of slimes that have sloughed off of her body and she's got the spear but her core is just a bramble kind of a bed of chaos style thing. People who have played um, Dark Souls will recognize 
that the mass of slimes in, um, oh gosh, the Painted World is kind of a callback to this. Uh, maybe it was her soldiers, Coleman Canary. I may be incorrect about that. I will admit it's been a long time since I've read lore about this game. Come on. There we go. And we see how much damage the fire bombs do. And she's not so tough without her goo wall. And down they go. Fantastic. Let's go and gather up. This is a good way to get a... Such a smart way. Such a smart way to give you a lot of upgrade materials. By making them drop off of the enemy that uh, you're going to fight a bunch of in the first boss. And the worse you do at that boss, likely the more of those you're going to pick up. Oh, hell. There we go. <laughs> cool so that's the way to one two but we have got a uh we've got some souls to spend Monumental awaits the above. I didn't pay attention the first time I did this sweep, and I was so lost looking for the monumental. The monumental will explain the nexus to the... Okay, up to the tippy top we go. And of course I was on the wrong spiral. I just wanted to take you on a tour of the art stones, you guys. So yeah, these are all monumentals. Even over there, and even down there. But this is the last one alive. We have long awaited you. Slayer of demons. I am one of the monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until, a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Sound familiar? 
thanks be, we were able to lull the old one back to his slumber. Yet only after the loss of innumerable souls, and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious arch stones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. Boletaria. One to the king of the burrowers underground. Stone Fang Tunnel. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. Three one. one three two. To the chieftain of lost and ill fortuned souls. Shrine of Storms. One to the shaman. Oh well, yeah, no. Valley Defilement, Shrine of Shadow Storms. <laughs> I'm getting these all mixed and up. Last, to the great giants of the northern lands. People speculate that that is Lordran, but you know. Across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. By the power of monumentals, the four sealed archstones have been released. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, Go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. Alright, so we've got a mission. <laughs> that is such a troll breaking away that uh that railing. All right, let's talk to the maiden in black. See what she has to say. Let's see how many level ups we got in us. It's lots of souls there. Brave soul who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. Eye stones temporarily connect to the diffused worlds. Should you lose your physical form, remember the eye stone. The maiden controls inhuman souls. Those, this power allows her to aid those who slay demons. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth. Touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. As for me, I am only here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Art thou done? Yes. May thine strength help the world be made. I have no idea what accent that is. 
All right, so we're gonna go to the Shrine of Storms real quick. Again, I make no pretense of being good at these games. And sometimes you need some help. Okay, mad dash time. These guys do not fuck around. This is a very difficult area. I don't know that I necessarily have a lot of hope of engaging these guys, honestly. <laughs> no! I wanted my bloodstain back, guys! Who fights by rolling like that? Come on. Grow up. <laughs> oh, of course I'm bleeding after I die. <laughs> Uh-oh. I didn't mean to put my back up against the... No! Okay, I can't do this all night. Just let me backstab. Critical, critical hit shouldn't work on the undead, but okay. Right, you get all those soul remains. What do those do? Attract those hungry for souls. Oh. Now oh, alluring skulls. Makes sense. I never found much use for those. Fuck! Yeah, I finished um, Kingsfield with about like 35 deaths. That is not it, like that, that is a much slower moving game. It iterates more slowly than this one does. Uh, so you're gonna die. Um, less frequently as well, because everything happens with less frequency. Wow, I forgot that like that is fucking dire is what that is. All right. Okie doke. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with a few more of these straggler slimes and their spears. Really, magic is the only sensible way to deal with them.
Um, I haven't... I need to go get a Strava, I think. Let's do that with the remaining time. Let's go, let's go get a Strava out very quickly. Yeah, so uh, this game also started another Souls tradition of extremely finicky, um, extremely finicky NPC quests. We're gonna have to uh, release the Royal Prince. Royal Prince. We're gonna have to release Prince Estrava um, from the gallows here, and then we're gonna have to babysit him all the way throughout Boletaria. Yeah, that's where I need to get. Um, Okay, this ring is very useful. So let's talk to Ostrava. That was a bold jump. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. Um, FNLN or Finlin asks, was this the first from game where they hit on their winning Soulsborne Kiro DNA formula? Uh, yes. Yeah, this is the first game that one would recognize as Souls. Okay, Ostrava. Yeah, the Thieves Ring breaks this game in really interesting ways. I think I might start using it just to show. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude. Now I must go. There is something. Something I need to take care of. And by something, I mean my dad. And by take care of, I mean kill. <laughs> There we go. I'm just gonna dash. <laughs> dash back up to my archstone. Oh, he's gonna try and explode me. God damn it! <laughs> I think that suffices. I think that's that's good enough. Oh well, I'll do the uh, I'll do the outro spiel as I uh, as I <laughs> as I as I get back to the. <laughs> Oh man, as I get back to my bloodstain there. Thank you so much everybody for watching. I really appreciate you all taking the time. This is going to be a fun series. Hopefully things will move a little bit more quickly now that I have my sea legs under me again. Um, and now that I, uh, you know, the power curve is going to break eventually. I will uh, not be so fragile. I will get that uh, intelligent scaling falchion. I'm gonna get the lobster harmonica, guys. I will get the lobster harmonica. Um, I'll be back. I stream this Tuesday nights at 8:30 p.m. Just watch Patreon for the alerts, or I also put up go live notifications on YouTube as well, if that's more your speed. Or not on YouTube, on uh, on on Twitter. Sorry, uh, it's hard to talk while concentrating on not dying. <laughs> yes, an intelligence scaling falcon. He requires a whole airplane to himself. That's right. I'm gonna. Oh, you're a, you're. A tenacious one, aren't you? Uh, but yeah, Tuesday nights will be a good time for all, I imagine. Um, my Twitter handle, um, I don't know if it's on the Patreon page, 
Just uh, twitter.com slash Cole Ross, K-O-L-E-R-O-S-S. All one word uh, would be the way to go if you are interested in the bullshit that I have to say. Cool. I'm going to make it safe, and then I'm going to quietly log out, because I don't need to arch stone. Fantastic. Have a wonderful week. Um, if you don't if you don't normally watch me stream, I uh, otherwise stream live on twitch.tv slash duckptv on uh, uh, Friday and Saturday evenings at 8.30 p.m. I stream horror games there for Hexcrank Live. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful time. Have a wonderful week. I will see you then. And we all pray that we will have far more soon.